All right, this is Bill. So here we'll be discussing about record producers. And to, to be able to uh, create a record producer, I'll give you a good example, which is a great incident. So record producers is another form of um, request, uh, but here is it gives you more flexibility, right? So let's, let's um, give you an example like create incident, right? So when creating an incident, you will see here that um, it's still a form. You're still going to submit, right? And you're still going to um, populate these fields. And as you can see here, that it, it requires or it provides uh, more flexibility. And in this example, you will find that um, it's it's providing search results or deflection, deflective actions for an end user not to um, send an incident, right? But but um, as we submit this one, this particular incident, right? So it will create an, an incident ID, right? Or a, a number, right? And on that number, um, similar to a request where a request will have more structure, like requested, the request, the requested item, and the catalog task. Now, um, to give you a better picture of what the record producer is, I'll just go to the admin view, to the UI 16 on how it's basically built, right? So from the left, you will see here, um, it's still under service catalog, right? And it's under catalog definitions, then record producer. Then I, I basically went to that item, which is create incident. And you can see here the main difference is it requires a table name, right? It is dependent to a table. Unlike when you create a, 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 a request catalog, right, or service catalog on a request, um, it already has structure. And this one will give you more flexibility, right? So depending on the type of request, right, and, and um, as you create the table, then it will be referencing uh, the fields in that table. And as we scroll down, right, so it still has variables, variable sets, um, and it's still under category. So it's, it's still a service catalog, right? Um, it still falls on the others, under the service catalog module. So I would suggest that um, to be able to grow and learn in 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 the serve in the record producer, right? So because it's kind of like advanced and complex, use the um catalog builder, right? Use the template, um, and that's one way. And or duplicate, try and duplicate this um record producer, and and um change the name, and you will see, uh, as you um basically make mistakes, like make uh, make this as your laboratory. And you get to understand what the record producer is, right? So if, if I, I'm going to walk you through, so it still has accessibility, um, can use templates um, and so on, right? So as you learn the um, the request item or request, right? You start from there, and here it, it's the purpose of having more flexibility, right? And 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 customizable, I would say customizability of forms and and response okay thank you so much for attending uh this um video and i'll see you on the next one